Hey guys, welcome back to another repair video. In today's episode, we will be replacing the battery for Samsung S22 Plus 5G and the backless. Check out the links below and let's get into it. So let's begin by turning on the heating mat and set the temperature to 75 to 85 degrees Celsius or 167 to 185 Fahrenheit. Now, let's put the phone camera fro first on the mat and then let's uh, wait from 3 to 5 minutes to soften the adhesive so we could easily remove the back glass. Now, the heating mat reaches the desired temperature. We just have to flip the phone and put the camera first on the mat for 3 to 5 minutes. After three to five minutes, now we could flip the phone over and then we could start applying the isopropyl alcohol all around the edges of the phone. We are actually doing this to soften the adhesive on the edges so we could easily remove the back glass or the back cover. Now we're going to use a metallic prying tool, a 0.1 millimeter, so we could go through inside the edges and slice through the adhesive. So I'm slicing through the adhesive. I'm not really being cautious since the back glass is already, already broken. And let's try to pry it open upwards. Once you see a gap, we could start using our fingers or you could use a spudger to help you pry it upwards. You can now use your fingers. No worries, there are no flexes. So once it's open, we could start removing the Phillips screws in order for us to remove the NFC wireless charging pad. To continue removing the NFC wireless charging pad, you have to disconnect the wireless or the flex cables to the logic board. And then I'm gonna use a metallic prying tool, the 0.01 metallic prying tool to remove the adhesive. Just lift it up. And then we would be able to access the flex cable of the battery. Firstly, we have to disconnect it before we replace everything and disconnect all the cables. Once we disconnect the battery, flex cable to the terminal of the logic board, we could proceed disconnecting all the cables in order for us to access the battery and remove it. And let's proceed to remove the bottom speaker. Let's use a screwdriver, Phillips, in order to remove the screws. Let's use the spudger to pry this and to fully remove the bottom speaker. It might be difficult to remove the co this cover at the lower PVA, so we could actually use an alternative tool, whichever you're comfortable with, a metallic prying tool. Now we could start removing the flexes 
are the flex cables from the charging port and the logic port. Then we will be removing the old battery using an isopropyl alcohol. Put it on the edges of the battery in order for us to easily remove it by softening the adhesive. And we're going to use a metallic prying tool to pry out the battery. And if you're looking for any parts or tools, check out out links below if you are interested in mailing repair or data recovery service check us out at techdev.com be careful in this stage of removing the battery as you might puncture the size of the battery make sure you are able to put in the prying tool the way up inside the edges of the battery for this stage of replacement just Take your time, be patient on this stage, as this is the most critical part of the repair. Supply more isopropyl alcohol if you need to, in order for us to easily remove it. Then you could use the prying tools to slice through the adhesive tape. Got it. Next, we're going to prep the housing by removing the old adhesive for the new battery. So I applied isopropyl alcohol and just scrape off the old adhesive tape. Just enough pressure to remove the old adhesive tape without, without scratching the surface of the housing. If you have a paper towel, just remove it off. Swipe it off. Next, we're going to install the new battery on the housing. So first, put on the flex cable of the battery to the logic ports terminal. We're doing this first in order for us to line up the battery properly. Okay. And then remove again the battery flex cable. After installing the new battery, let's proceed installing the three flex cables onto the charging port and the logic port. Make sure it's lined up before you snap them on because we don't want to break the terminals or bend the pins of the terminals. The last flex for this one. Put the remaining two flexes before you connect the battery. Finally connect the flex cable of the battery to the logic board. So make sure all the, all the flex cables are snapped on to the terminals and let's proceed installing the bottom speaker make sure it snaps on before you put back the screws so we're going to use a screwdriver that is Phillips For this one, once you're putting on the screws, just make sure not to over tighten it because you might break uh, the bottom loudspeaker since it's made out of plastic. Ok, 
Okay, final check of the flex cables before we reinstall the NFC wireless charger back. So line it up first. Once you line it up, try to put back on the adhesive tape on the bottom and then reattach or connect the flex cables to the terminals to the logic board. Then let's proceed putting back on the screws. Again, it's another Phillips screws. Do not over tighten it, especially for this one, as you might be able to break the logic board. So once you feel it snug, that's good enough. Once we finally install all the internals, it's time to install the new back glass. So you have two options. You could use the adhesive that comes with the new back glass, or you could use a glue. But for the customer, uh, he, want, he wants to get it replaced uh, and use a glue for it. So let's proceed and remove the adhesive tape on this new backlash. So I just applied the glue on the edges of the backlash and let's proceed to put it on the housing of the phone. Once we put on the new backlash, I recommend to clap in with clamps on the sides or the edges in order for the adhesive to cure properly and to set it on place. And let's try to turn on the phone. It's on now. Basically, uh, the battery and backlash is successful. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we will make sure to assist you. If you sell any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techtap.com or link the link below for mailing repairs. Thank you very much.